Tonight, a lawsuit describes claims of mental, physical, and sexual abuse against boys under the care of Clearwater foster parents. A dozen agencies that are tasked with keeping children safe are named as defendants in that lawsuit. In January, Clearwater police removed nine boys from that Clearwater home. Since then, our Vanessa Ariza has been looking into information about that Clearwater couple who fostered the children. She spoke with three men who said they lived in a home of horrors and a mother whose son was removed months ago. You go into this place and then it, it looks really nice on the outside. It was, I was like, it, it's a mansion. When I first walked in the door, um, they had a pool table, they had video games, they had a workout room, they had all of this cool stuff. These three men had different reasons for being in the foster care system, but the stories they tell about what happened inside this Clearwater home share disturbing similarities. Pretty much hell. Uh, in the beginning, all three reporting little to eat, manual labor from sun up to sundown, and what they thought was only happening to them sexual abuse by their foster father. He was touching my shoulder, and then he, he would say, like, Oh, can you scratch my back? So I would scratch his back and stuff like that, and he would just like try and caress my body and try and touch me. He would touch you, and he would cuddle up with you, and he would he would massage you and and show you pornography. Those same allegations are contained in the 669-page lawsuit filed in Pinellas County. 20 men and children sharing stories about the abuse they endured in the foster home, dating back to 1997. The defendants in this case are large child welfare agencies like the Department of Children and Family Services, Guardians Ad Litem, and the foster parents, Jacqueline and Gerald Logeman. Adam Hecht is representing the plaintiffs. Their stories were so similar. There was a pattern that all of these boys and men had experienced. And then I came to the realization that this is real. Hecht is also representing Crystal Ferreira. Her son recently lived in the home and was removed. I was told very early on that um, he was refusing to see me and that the foster mother didn't um, communicate with the family. She hasn't seen her son since 2018. The lawsuit states he experienced the same abuse as dozens of others had for nearly three decades. According to the lawsuit, children were given little to eat. To get more, they claimed they had to give their foster parents massages. A number of former foster children alleging the foster father would take them to another house where they were sexually abused. This changed me forever. It killed the little Miguel. It killed the little boy. The Logamans obtained an attorney shortly after Clearwater Police removed nine boys from their home in January and began an investigation. That investigation was closed in April after the police said they could not corroborate claims of criminal conduct. Dino Michaels and Renee Palomino are representing the couple. There are multiple people who have these accusations. Would you say they're all lying? I haven't questioned them. I don't know what their motive is. I don't know what their precise statements are. Do you believe that your client is innocent from these accusations? Absolutely, 100%. Like I said, she's an upstanding citizen. She's a model citizen. She's a person who fills a a void in our society helping these children that, that need foster care. Since January, we have requested information from DCF about the foster parents. In total, how many children they fostered and information about the allegations. Initially, DCF released this statement saying in part, the department is launching a review of the licensing process and related concerns of this home with our contracted providers, as well as our own internal processes. Attorneys for the Logaman said DCF also closed its investigation. The Hecht is continuing his filed. fight for dozens of men like those he is representing. So it wasn't just me and, and I was like, okay, well, how do I get into this? How do I, how do I help out with this? Whatever it is, because it's got to stop. I don't want them to ever be in the presence of another child because I don't want nothing, no, nobody to experience what I did. Vanessa Ariza, ABC Action News.